Introducing a new series on auto claims. Now you guys know that I've made several videos about how becoming an auto IA can actually help you ramp up into doing property. So in this brand new series, we're gonna talk about nothing but auto. And in this video, Chris Stanley from IA Path is gonna show you how to never miss a photo when scoping a vehicle, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cat property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And special thanks to Pops Custom from YouTube who says, I really enjoy your videos. I've done over 250 claims so far, and the firm I've been working with has started to give me daily claims. Your tips are very beneficial to me as I started implementing your process and received a compliment from a carrier that went straight to the firm I work with. I was told they never give compliments. Thanks. And thank you so much for watching, Pops. Okay, without further ado, here's Chris to show you how to photograph a vehicle step by step so you never miss a photo. All right, IA. Today I'm gonna to show you how you take all the required photos that are needed without ever missing a photo. This is really important because if we miss a photo, we have to go out and re-inspect the vehicle. We have to go back out and get that photo. I've had to turn around and drive three hours back out to get photos just because I missed a photo. I don't want that to ever happen to you. So I'm gonna walk you through what's expected what kind of photos are expected and how you can make sure you never miss any by taking all the photos you could potentially ever have on a vehicle uh, so you don't miss them. All right, so you're gonna wanna start at the front left of the vehicle. Now, when you take photos, you wanna make sure you get the entire front of the vehicle and all down the side. This is what's called the left front corner shot and we gotta get the four corners first. So now I'm gonna move to the right front of the vehicle and once again, make sure I get the whole front and the whole side of the vehicle. And it's important and challenging at times to do this as well as we want, but we wanna make sure that the car is the star. Now, what this means is we don't want a whole lot of background. We wanna make sure the car is the main thing we're taking a photo of, um, because that's what the insurance company is paying us to take a photo of. They don't want the yard so much. So after we get the four corners, we're gonna stop and take a license plate photo and a badging photo here, all in one shot to make sure, see this XLT, that we're documenting that this is an XLT. Now we're gonna come down the side of the vehicle and we are going to get the VIN. Then we're gonna sit down and power up the vehicle to make sure that we get the odometer. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna get the headliner shot. We're gonna get the dash. We're gonna get one of the driver's door and seat. We're gonna get one of the carpet. We're gonna pop that hood. We're gonna do our tread depth. Make sure you get it in the center of the tire. Show the numbers clear. Then you're gonna step over here and we're gonna take a look at whatever damage it is you're assessing. Remember to get at least three photos, one straight on, one to the left, and one to the right of the vehicle, and then your measure and photo. All right, and that's how you take the required photos that you need to complete an auto damage inspection without ever missing a photo. You just get all of them every single time. Thank you very much, this is Captain I, signing off. Question of the day, what do you think about this new content on auto on adjustertv.com? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, for much more information about how you can ramp up into cat property claims by first becoming an auto adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com slash auto. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.